In this video, I'm going to paint these cute watercolor macarons only using cheap supplies from AliExpress. I have got two tiny watercolor palettes here and the idea of macarons came when I saw the color selection of this first palette called Candy. Yes, they are a little bit dirty, but because I have swatched them before. Each set has 12 colors. Not a great color selection, as you can see, and there is no information about the pigments or the colors inside whatsoever. And also you can see that many of the colors have actually white in them. Let's have a look at the other palette, which is called Morandi. You can see that in this palette we have black, which is pretty cool because we need to darken all these light colors and there is no real complementary color here, so black it is. The Morandi palette has really cool 70s like muted colors, but also with a lot of white, unfortunately. Each palette costs around 7 USD on AliExpress. Let's move on to the paper. This one I got from Paul Rubens, also from AliExpress, and it pretty much looks like a dupe uh, for Fabriano Artistico. It's a 100% cotton, 300 GSM cold pressed paper. It even has the embossed logo like Fabriano does. It is glued around the edges into a pretty neat block with a small opening in the middle to remove the paper. It costs around 10 USD for the 6 by 8 inches slash A5 size, which is pretty much the half of what Fabriano costs. So looking at the quality, it is a pretty good deal. Moving on to the brushes. We got also some suspiciously looking dupe-like set, which pretty much looks identical to the silver brushes black velvet line. Here's the name of the brushes. Please do not ask me to pronounce it. I would just butcher it. But they are 100% square hair brushes. They come in a set of four. At least this is what I purchased. They are super soft. They hold water very well, and the set costs around 17 USD. I have a silver brush here, so we can compare the two. You can see that the original silver brushes have more pointy end, and the other one, the fake one, has a more rounded uh, tip. But other than that, there is no real difference between the two brushes. I also got this foldable silicone water cup for around 3 USD, which is a pretty good deal. I also got this ceramic mixing pad, also around 3 USD, which is also pretty much a good deal because it usually costs around 8 to 10 USD at Jackson's. And the last splurge what I got is this tiny little um, spray bottle. Um, for around, I think it was even less than one USD, and I use it usually to pre wet my paints. Now we have our setup, so let's get to paint.
And here is the finished painting, only using cheap supplies from AliExpress. Thank <laughs> you.